are gluing these two pieces together to make the D web complete Correct. because we had to take it out of two different pieces. Yeah. Both. So once we glue them together, we are going to tape over the joint to secure it. 12 ounce tape and over we'll, the top. We'll do both sides of that. So yeah. Once we once we glue it all together, clean up and squeeze out, tape. Good to go. And we'll do final trimming later once it's uh, all together and secure. And then we'll install it. But before we do that, we have to tab the entire front, front half of, of the bulkhead. And hopefully we're going to do that tomorrow, so we should be in good shape. We'll literally it <laughs> took what a minute yeah about five we'll come back and sand it make sure everything's flush so while Carl is up in the hall right now cleaning up bulkhead in front of bulkhead one to install the d-webs I am prepping the d-webs we need to join them together so we're just putting a six inch layer of 12 ounce tape over the seams and then Wait for that to dry and then flip them over, repeat the process, and then hopefully we're good to go for installing. As always, we are using Total Vote. Check out our link in the description below for our promo code. It's valid through the end of the year, and you're gonna get a little uh, nice little percentage off. Check it out. Literally a couple minutes and done. And hopefully this will dry sooner than later because we use the fast hardener and we'll be able to do the other side maybe a little bit later today. All right guys, so again, we are all over the place. Uh, today I am prepping to do the tabbing in the front of bulkhead one here. It is definitely a tight spot, but we're gonna make do. It's part of building the boat, I guess. I can't get the sander in a lot of these corners because it's actually like a, uh, a closed corner if that makes sense so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit all the little areas up with the die grinder real quick that i have and uh just gonna rough everything up so we're ready for glass uh, there's a few drips i just gotta take out but for the most part everything was sanded prior to installing this bulkhead so anything that uh, is left over is really from just a squeeze out where i uh i just ran my finger up and there might be little drips on the side of where that was so gonna hit that quick and uh finish cleaning everything up wipe everything down with acetone as always and get ready to go here hopefully we can get this all done today this is one of the first real nice days we have to actually be able to work on the boat so uh cassie's outside working on another project right now and i'm prepping this be sure to uh, like share and subscribe and thanks for the support guys all right guys so I got everything vacuumed up and cleaned up. Uh, I still got acetone stuff, but I'm gonna get the glass prepped first. Again, it's a tight spot in here. So bear with us on the on the shots. Hopefully I'm not in the way of a lot of stuff, but it's uh, to get way down in the hole there, it's pretty tough. So uh, I'm just gonna throw the camera up here and try it again. Same thing as usual on the corners. I'm gonna cut about halfway through the glass and fold it so it overlaps. Trim them off a little bit of an angle. Yeah, no, it's all right. I've seen it. Yeah, you guys have seen me cut glass plenty of times. And if not, you can go back and check out one of our other videos. I'm sure it's in there. 
Uh, so I'm definitely in the way of this shot, but hopefully you guys can get the aftermath of this. Build the boat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, yeah, so I don't know who said that. I think it was just me trying to convince myself. So that'll be like that. And then later I'll come back with little patches and put them over these corners here. So that'll be that one. And then I'm just going to run a piece straight down and overlap down here. And then one piece right across where my knees are here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll glass the two side chambers. And then I'm going to jump into the berth area and just reach over and glass this last section. All right, guys, that does it for the tabbing on the front of bulkhead one. This is complete all the way down to the bottom, bottom of the hole there, and all the way up the sides. Same thing over here. Not my prettiest work, but it's definitely uh, solid. So I'll, uh, I'll let this cure for the night. Uh, I'll give it a quick sand tomorrow just to clean it all up, and uh, we're ready to install the D-webs after that. All right, and where are we at? Other side of the D-webs. Okay, other side of the D-webs. Uh, first side is complete, just about fully hardened here, not sticky to the touch. Uh, what'd you use for hardener on that? Fast hardener. Fast hardener. It's been uh, probably about two, two hours, hours, give or take. This is Cassie's little project here. We've kind of handed this off to her and she's doing a wonderful job at it. Nice glass work, no bubbles, nice and rolled down. She's doing a fine job, so. From the best. Giving us some credit here, because give credit where credit is due, right? Yeah, because right. everyone always asks, you're building a boat to just you? And you're like, we are yeah, building a we, boat. We are building a boat. She is involved in this just as much as I am. <laughs> I do a lot of the grunt work when it comes to the sanding, but yeah. she is definitely involved, guys. Yeah. So, we got to keep her on our hands. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're going to knock this out and uh, call it a day and go relax for a bit. We have a little bit of a gap on this side, so we are filling it with whatever leftover filler we had mixed up from doing the front of the D-webs. Yep. The one. And these are the little gaps she's talking about here. It's tiny. Hopefully this is showing up on camera because it's it such will. a glare. It always does. Yeah, there it is. She's just packing it in the best she can, man. I get to be the lovely assistant right now. <laughs> so once she's ready, I'll stop pumping out some resin for her and she will... Knock this one out of the pot. Yeah, I'll, um, I can probably mix it up myself. I'm just gonna pump seven. I did eight for the last one. Listen, I'm the lovely trip. assistant on this one, so okay, no matter what, if you want to pump it yourself, it's all you, but I'm still your lovely assistant. Okay. okay? <laughs> Fair enough. And today we are using the Total Boat 2 to 1 resin. Be sure to check out our code in the description below, down here somewhere.
is using a cut off two inch brush here and she's just poking out any little ear pockets making sure all that resin is nice and saturated into that glass uh sure, we shorten the bristles on the brush with just a pair of scissors um and it helps just gives you a little bit more uh base to uh punch those bubbles out yeah it's you know? like firmer yeah Saturate and move on to this one. And moving on to the next. I have to pull that peel file on this one too. Yep. Sorry. You love the assistant slacking here. Yep. Good. We find this is the best way to do this for us. It works for us. Other people say, oh, we do it wrong, whatever, but we haven't had any issues with any of our glass work yet. So and uh, within five, 10 minutes, you, you can do a seam. It's not too, too bad. We're gonna have a lot of this coming up in the future. All of our furniture, this is ex exactly how we glue it all together. Uh, we glue the joint, we let it cure, and we come back and just fiberglass the glass over that corner or joint. I think a lot of our large glass panels are just about done at this point. Yep. Um, we do have a few more to do, which are basically the window frames. Um, those will be coming up once the weather really turns for the better here. Uh, we are, I think tomorrow is the first official day of spring here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're getting into the warmer weather now. So we're really going to start pushing to get this thing to a buttoned up state for next year. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. A lot of work to do still, but I think we're in good shape. We do have a lot of stuff already prepped. So yeah, a lot is just going to be like dropping in and going. Yeah. So it might not be great footage on some of the stuff, a great entertainment, but this is all part of it, you know. Yeah, whoever said this was supposed to be entertaining? We're well, we are putting it on YouTube, so <laughs> try to, we try to give a little bit of entertainment here, you know. Eh, it's real so. life. Okay, I'm gonna cut these and then roll them. Okay. So we do keep one pair of scissors strictly for cutting wet glass. Um, once you get the resin on there, it does build up over time and it's hard to get it off. Kind of took that hint off of Roscoe from Life on the Halls. If you guys haven't seen him, definitely check him out. He's, build, he's building a 40-something foot catamaran, uh, all fiberglass. He used molds uh, to build it and he's doing a wonderful job. So check him out. He's the nicest guy out there. Yeah. We try to keep one pair for, for wet glass and kind of just down and dirty work. And then we do have another good pair that we keep here for strictly dry glass. And sometimes I get confused. Cassie likes to get confused and grab the wrong pair. And then we hurry up and clean them as fast as we can because we don't want the resin to get on it's there. It's way better. I know. Oh, yeah, these are going to get trimmed too. They're, we're, we're close to final size on all this. Yeah. Um, but we, I think we do have to trim just a little bit off. Um, I fit the one full panel we had, and it actually fits really well, except for the top edge where the camber is for the uh, the berth roof. So we'll be able to trim a little bit off the edges here and just clean them up as we get ready to fit them. I think that is do it. That's pretty much it for today, guys. We are going to wrap up here, clean up on this, and uh, just spend some time with our dogs. So, hope everybody enjoys the show. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. But yeah. Any final words? No, just like, share, subscribe. You only have to subscribe once, so if you've already subscribed, we're telling you to subscribe, subscribe again. You don't need to. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for subscribing. Thank we do appreciate it. Right. You do keep us motivated and stuff out here when we're doing this stuff. It, it does get uh, kind of tedious some days, so every little bit of motivation counts. We love the, uh, the kind words, the kind comments you guys give, too. So. any uh criticisms we definitely uh or observations on the way we're doing stuff we definitely take everything into consideration when we're doing it um every scenario is different so it's you know it's hard to say you got to do it this way and you know like unfortunately you can't always do it that way so but uh we definitely uh take it all into account and uh rethink everything the way we're doing stuff and uh we're, we're still learning and evolving as we go so yep. all right i'm gonna quit ranting here yep. and uh <laughs> call it a day thanks for watching